Hey, this is Dr. Blake Schusterman, The Cooking Doc. Are you wondering how much candy you can safely eat on Halloween without putting your health at risk? Or maybe you're wondering which type of candy is best for me to eat come October 31st? Well, I'm here to tell you one piece of advice, and that's the only advice you'll ever need, and it's the easiest advice to remember. On October 31st, unless you have diabetes, my advice to you is to eat as much candy as you want. That's right. Take your Kit Kats, your gas station candy bars, your snack machine gummy bears, whatever it is that you want on that Halloween and eat as much as you want. No regrets. I only ask that you follow one rule and one rule only. The other 364 days of the year, I don't want you eating any candy. I don't want you sneaking any candy at the gas station. I don't want you sneaking any candy at the snack machine. I want you to give it totally up those other 364 days of the year. And this goes for parents and kids as well, because if we can get kids following this advice, it'll benefit them for the rest of their life. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking maybe this is just some crazy doctor trying to get me on some extreme diet. Or maybe you're thinking that if I eat the candy just a couple times a year, I can intersperse it, I can keep myself healthy. And I get that. And when I read this to people to see, kind of get their opinion, I got a lot of people that felt the same way. I can eat as much candy as I want. I'm not gonna do that. I only ask that you follow one rule. My goodness, what could it be? Do not eat any candy. You out your mind. I can't do that. I don't even want to read no further. That's the only rule. I can't follow that. Dr. Schusterman, no snack machine candy bars. Mm, done with this paper right now. No gas station gummy bears. Those are my favorite for real. Just some crazy doctor trying to talk. That is right. I am thinking you're a crazy doctor. Go ahead and dig in on October 31st. I plan on it, Dr. Schusterman. Your candy eating should only come once a year. That ain't possible. Okay. And I understand how difficult it is to really make this kind of change in your life. But if you listen to me for a minute here, I want to kind of tell you why I think it's so important and why I've taken such a hard stance on this. Every day when I go to work, I go to the office or I go to the hospital or I go to the dialysis unit and I see people who've had their lives turned upside down by the health consequences of type 2 diabetes or obesity or high blood pressure. I see a lot of people who can't do the things that they want because of these conditions. They can't travel, they spend all their time in the doctor's offices, and some of these diseases are preventable. And so if I can take this advice and I can convince one or two of you to change your candy eating habits so that you don't develop any of these conditions or that you can manage these conditions more easily, then it's worth me taking this hard of a stance. So remember my advice. On October 31st, eat as much candy as you want. Enjoy it. And then the rest of the year, 364 days, no candy. Now I understand that might be difficult and so with November and December, you can take some time and kind of wean yourself off the candy. Uh, or if you need a little dark chocolate throughout the year to kind of get you through the, the difficult times when you need a sweet, go for it, that's fine. You can do it, I know you can. Make every day other than October 31st a candy-free day. Enjoy your Halloween.